complex chemical engines. There's a DNA molecule hiding inside of you. The reason why you're here is that molecule. And all of this hardware is just a fancy membrane. It's just a fancy instrumentality to keep the molecule survivable, to keep it capable of replicating in the world. And you're just the vessel, the machinery, through which we'll accomplish that. You're its arms and legs, quite literally, and um, not much more. You're a machine. Through this evolution, the machine gained all these tools. Different machines have teeth and they have a very aggressive digestive system or they have a sticky tongue or they have some other mechanism to make them more capable of spreading their DNA by surviving, fighting off the other DNA molecules that are trying to consume the space they occupy or consume the food they're eating. This competition drives organisms to have to meet a standard defined by the environment. The environment tells you what tools you need. If you don't have them, you're not going to succeed. And if you do have them, you'll succeed. And that's basically the game. The machinery creates lots of different varieties. And a small minority of the varieties created will be deemed successful in the competition by out surviving the others, gladiator warring them into the dirt and claiming its prize of playing the game another round. Through all these millions of rounds, millions of rolls of the reproductive mutation dice, building more and more tools, building more and more instrumentality, merely out of random changes and just accepting, just keeping the good changes, it's like breeding puppies or something. You could make a standard where you say, I'll kill all the puppies that don't have a spot on their forehead. So the only ones with spots on their forehead are the ones you keep. That's biology. That's the game of selection. And nature's doing a selection process based on environmental standards, not arbitrary spot on the head standards. That's all there is, but there's a ton of it. So roll the credits, smiley face image. When people procreate, they create somebody who will suffer and die. I challenge anybody to argue why this aspect of human behaviour, i.e. procreation, to just be given the green light when we um, evaluate every other form of behaviour critically.